Let's talk a bit about working with skies in Lightroom. Skies can be such a critical part of nature photography, especially with big landscapes. Like here we have a scene in Yosemite Valley. This is Bridal Veil Fall. And you can see Half Dome in the background. And the sky is okay, but it isn't really getting the best for this picture. Now, first thing I'm going to do is fix the interface. And you should know how to do this. So I want to make that picture bigger so that we can work on it more easily. So I'm going to use the F7 function key to get rid of the left-hand side. And I'm going to use the F6 function key to get rid of the bottom film strip. Now, they're not actually gone altogether. I can bring them back at any time. But notice how much bigger the image is so I can really see the picture and the sky. Now, I've done some basic adjustments already in here, but I'm going to go up to Basic and go into Vibrance. Vibrance really affects skies. Vibrance is a saturation tool that doesn't oversaturate too quickly. So I can go up and, and get the skies looking a little bit better, but you have to be careful about Vibrance because Vibrance can over-adjust the sky in a hurry and make it look garish, not good. Now, I don't like the color of the sky. I don't think that that's kind of right. So I'm going to go down to the HSL, or Hue Saturation uh, and Luminance area, and there's a panel here with lots of stuff, but there's a really neat little button. And this little button that if I hold my cursor over there, you'll see this highlight that says Adjust Hue by dragging in the photo. I'm going to first adjust the hue. Is that Once you click on that, it activates the cursor. Now, you don't have to do anything special. All you do is run your cursor out into the picture over the blue, and you can do it over other colors too, but I'm going to go over the blue. And if I click and drag up, it makes the hue change a little more purplish, dry it down, more greenish. That's all I'm doing. I'm not doing anything fancy. I'm going to actually increase the reddish content a little bit. And I don't have to think about it. All I did was click and drag. Click and drag on the picture. And Lightroom takes care of finding the color and adjusting it for me. Now I'm going to go to Saturation. Click on that. I still have the activated cursor. Now I'm going to click and drag up to make it more saturated, down to make it less saturated. In this case, I'm just going to give a little bit more saturation to the blue. I like what's going on there. And finally, I'm going to go to Luminance. Now, this is a very, very good control that affects the darkness of a color. So again, I run my cursor out there. It's still activated. So it's going to recognize the color that it's over. I simply click on it and drag up to make the, the colors brighter, drag down to make them darker. So I'm going to make them a little bit darker. Look at the richness of the sky now. The sky actually balances the boldness of the light on the falls and the rock. So it looks much better. Now, we can still use this same control on some parts of the rock as well. I'm going to actually increase the saturation of the reds in the rock. So again, I click on saturation, move my cursor over a reddish part of the rocks, and click and drag up to increase the saturation. And we have a nice look to the picture. Let's look at the before and after. Now, I have to hit Escape to get out of the activated cursor. Then I'll go down to the Before and After button at the lower left. And look at the difference. There's the before on the left, and there's the after. Now that before is actually bef uh, before any adjustments I'd made. And I did make some contrast uh, and, and uh, brightness adjustments earlier. But you can really see the sky difference and the rocks because of that little difference I did with the red. So go back to the overall picture. Very simple, very easy. If you remember the HSL controls and that magic button, that little button that you click on, and it activates the cursor so that you can change hue, saturation, and luminance very easily in a sky to get better skies.